Alrighty. Wait, hopefully Mike is all good. We'll find out. Not all good. But it's just how it goes. <laughs> tasting. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. I just realized I had my noise gate a little too low. So let's get this going. I just pasted this in for reference. So this. It's 
not use anime ace. <laughs> So we have this. Let's go get much I'm gonna need that much I'm gonna need that much. 
got arms, so I could probably just do a call out for arms. Okay, I definitely need a call out with... Oh god, let me write notes, so... Arm... Call out... Oh... Um. I don't think I need the underside of her. Do I? Oh, I do need the underside of her, so I don't need a call out for that. up too high, that's what's going on. This isn't
Oh, I need to open
I made these lines way too thick. <laughs> oh, hey, Scarlet. Thanks for coming to hang out. Sorry, I was checking a quick Discord message. Yeah. In case anybody's wondering what I'm working on, I am attempting to grind out a portfolio to apply for the internship at uh, Riot Games, is like character design stuff for League of Legends. So yeah, that's why we're drawing Monsters uh, Matron Irma. Because I need some creature designs in my portfolio. And I figured I'd get the really hard stuff out of the way first. So we're starting with this horrible spider lady. Who I drew her for school, but she doesn't have like a proper orthographic turnaround. So that's what we're doing here. My professor was really kind to me during the semester and was like, please don't hurt yourself trying to do an orthographic of this creature as cool as it would be. Because in like a video game, it's totally okay to get fancy because you don't have to redraw it every frame. Unlike animation or comics. But... <laughs> doing the concept work. Oh, it would have hurt my soul during school to design- try to design this with all my other classes. switch my music over to something a little bit more upbeat and lo-fi. Um, <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry. Here we go, let me check. Let's get Miracle of Sound going. Maybe. One day. 
Oh no, I hit enter on the search again after it just started loading. Okay. Search artist for miracle sound. That would be a smart way to do it. Okay. Well, I don't know how to navigate the new pretzel app, so... Go to rock. Let's play the rock station. Um, okay, so now I'm finding out how bad my stream delay is. Uh yeah, Scarlet. Uh are they based on the East Coast or we do travel there? Uh it depends on what COVID stuff is. They are over in Santa Monica, I think. And okay, cool, I still get miracle sound anyway. So, if it's not safe to travel, then obviously that would be... But if it is, it's a, like, paid internship and everything. And they help relocate you, so... I made that forearm too short. that Let's get this other arm in here before I forget. And I drew this hand way too big, so... Oh boy. Let's get this very last arm. It's actually going a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Hmm. 
I'm gonna be honest, I, since I was tiny the last time my family traveled to California, uh, I don't count it since I physically cannot remember it. <laughs> it's like, it's like going, oh, you know, I was, um, I was a historical event. <laughs> But I was asleep the entire time and can't tell you a thing about it. <laughs> Something about those arms does not look right. Other than being 100% symmetrical, but we'll bring in the asymmetry later. See, I said this was going quicker than I thought earlier, but I just remembered doing the front view is the easy part. Because the other sides of the orthographic view all have to line up. Okay, the rest of that is arm stuff that I have to go in and do manually. Oh, symmetry. Turn on the lights earlier. down.
There we go. It's actually much easier. <laughs> Why didn't I turn that off sooner? Thanks and hi to everyone who's uh, currently hanging out. Um, yeah, feel free to say hi. Oh, there goes my uh, drawing. Rip. <laughs> goes there. Oh, I don't know where I drew the bottom of this leg. Oh, that's fine. We'll figure it out. not to have these near each other too much. But I think that's just inevitable with the amount of leg she has. So my default answer whenever I have to design a monster that's really horrifying is um add too much of something like if it's not supposed to have a bajillion arms give it too many arms if it's not supposed to have too many legs do that too many eyeballs do it <laughs> it's how i resolve designing monsters <laughs> also taking two things and smashing them together like this horrible spider scent lady. She's got the body of a spider, but the head of a lady. Which I guess in D and D is technically a drider or drow matron, but shh, we're not worried about that right now. I feel like 
I should have like fun stories in mind to talk about, but I'm never quite sure. <laughs> I guess uh, the Discord message I was checking earlier was for my boyfriend who was asking if he should make like a new profile on the Netflix since he was signing in. <laughs> Um, or if he should just use mine, and I was like, if you're not gonna watch the same stuff as me, I don't care, just use it. And he was like, well, are you gonna watch She-Ra? And I was like, if you like it, I'll go watch it. <laughs> but otherwise, probably not. Cause it's not like most of the stuff that I watch that's an actual show, I don't watch with him anyway, so... We have to go watch more Blood of Zeus. Mostly because he likes it for all the Greek mythology, and I like it for all the animation. <sighs> da -da -da -da. And that shape is way too different from the others, I can't get away with that. <laughs> at least kind of closer. I'm digging this song. I gotta go check what this is. Rise of a dead world. Ooh. Shadows on a scorched horizon. Like a wall withstand. Arizona roaring and rising. From scalded sand. The cries of a dead world. Calling out in vain. Red sky. Song, a New Vegas song? 
That would be really cool, this song. Holy crap, I'm spending so much time refining the segment of leg. Don't do that, me. Do not have a lot put together this portfolio, so let's not spend time, <laughs> like, nitpicking over that. This very last leg is going on its own layer. Hmm, yes, spend time roughing out these spider legs and then proceed to not even follow the roughs that I set out. And yep, that sounds about like it.
plague exists. I'm not gonna remember not to merge these. will be the dress.
Okay, I think we're gonna kick into an intermission for now so that I can go to the bathroom and get a fresh cup of tea and then I'll come back and do the asymmetrical parts of the design and start on another part of the graphic view.
Now and riddle me back. Does anyone really know the mind of the bat? So riddle me this now and riddle me back. Does anyone really know the mind of the bat? Wherever you go and whatever you do, I'm out in the dark, keep the watch over you. So poison the ivy with your crocodile tears. We're climbing the vines to the heart of your fears. Can you something change? I'm back, but I'm eating a clementine, so. <laughs> Alright. We're, we're jumping back over to lo-fi. I'm glad I don't have one of those really good microphones because you guys can't e hear me eating at Clementine then. I'm trying to schedule D&D for an online group, and that's an interesting time.
All right, let's finish this Clementine already. And then we'll... So I'm thinking we're gonna finish the asymmetrical parts of the front view and get the back view done. Then I'm gonna go for lunch and then probably be antisocial while I work on this the rest of the day. Um, just because I need to study up on League lore. <laughs> I really like the art and what I've seen of the trailers and like ADA seems cool. It's not the type of video game I'd normally play even though I love the art and like the lore. <laughs> I'm just not into like... The only MOBA I liked is dead. <laughs> Decided to try to publish it at the same time as Blizzard. And I say liked is in like to play. And I'd say honestly, Battleborn barely counts as a MOBA since it's first person. I have to yell at my normal D and D group to work on scheduling too. I don't know what's going on in the mod chat and what server I'm in. The owner is just spamming a bunch of heart love emojis. <laughs> okay then. At least it's a good mod team. Oh no, looking at preview it looks like my uh, dream is having a bad time. Hopefully it's not too bad. Maybe I can disable my preview. Crank it down to 144. Don't, don't ever try to play a high quality you know, my stream in YouTube. <laughs> Internet for that? If I had better internet and I could get a better bitrate, I might consider streaming like New Vegas when I play it, but... Eh. Alright, you know what? Let's rock. <laughs> Lower body. Done. So straight off. Let's get our asymmetrical shit rolling. I just realized I didn't quite do this right.
Yeah, I know my, um, my live, I just saw the chat now, I know my live stream quality tends to be pretty butt, just because I can't get much better, so I have, like, variable bitrate on and everything, so it adapts, plus the fact that I don't have a lot of screen information changing all at once, like a video game, helps a lot. It's like the only saving grace for me. But otherwise, yeah, it's like... Okay, that's the head. Alright, okay, we need to get the tongue done. No, I just saw the, the typo in that. I tend to have typos in my layer names when it doesn't matter and I'm the only one looking at it. monster arm.
Let's get not by. Um, how's our synth wave going? I need something a little bit more. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna want to roughly shade this to get it doing something. There's so many overlapping parts on this trying to comprehend the design. I'm getting distracted staring at D&D &D availability, oops. <laughs> is always an interesting time. My indie group usually opts for the um, make a spreadsheet and have everyone fill out their typical week where they'll be busy. <laughs> um, yeah. Do, did, my, did, did Pretzel die? Stop do giving me music. That would make me sad. <laughs> That's what come back. <laughs> I launch it, relaunching it. <laughs> ah, as much as I would like to be able to listen. 
to whatever music I feel like during stream. I cannot. YouTube is a butt face. And unfortunately, my channel is tiny enough that I can't really... <laughs> it's not worth tanking it getting potentially taken down anywhere. So... the music. Probably doesn't want to. <gasps> it do! Okay. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. We're back. I forgot that there's keyboard shortcuts on OBS and that I hadn't clicked off of it yet. <laughs> I was like, why did my stream just flicker out of existence? But no, that's just... That's just me. With my transitions. Oh wow, this is really good, but it's a little loud. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready to rock. Okay, now just getting this going. Oh, effect, huh? <clears throat> All right. Here's this asymmetry. Oh no, we still have a rougher hand there. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta remove that. I'm gonna put this on another layer and then lift it off. Huh? That way it was super easy to redraw later. Alas. I'm the buffoon who will remember that later. I just realized that hand is kind of a hand. Nobody needs to know that it's too small.
to clean up. Oh. Can I put place back in? put my notes. What layer did I put that on? Oh, that's on the dress layer. Put that out. Put that on its own layer. Back over here. Just did that. This one will become the back. Horizontally. Okay. Now to just work out how this works backwards. <laughs> Let's see. This is the best reference I have of the back. God, why does this put me in index color mode? I don't want it. <laughs> Image mode. RGB color. There we go. Levels. I could go into my own PS style and make this lighter or turn off the shading so I could see it. But. I don't feel like doing that, so... Because <laughs> then I have to dig through a bunch of layers since I do my post effects, like, put together. I could do that. I could do my post effects on separate la layers in the future, but... That's a pain in the Asymmetry later. Get the rough going. Oh. No, I'm not feeling like. There we go. This is what I mean when I say synth wave. Where's the upper? All right, well, we won't need to mask off the backlight like at all. Turn snap. Yeah, let's start with getting the back leg cooperating. Oh, I can't make this perfectly symmetrical. Because otherwise, since the back legs go back, you just have to make them bigger. Okay, no, we can't. Oh, 
okay. I could transform both parts of this symmetrically. Okay, okay, hold on. This is the part that hurts my brain. <laughs> Let's just turn the back legs off for now. Alright. Guides. Guides, get in here. We need this. Color picker, red or that, and we do orange for these. Yeah. Green for our very back legs. Mark some back leg heights. Their midpoint is there. And their top is over here. That joint is there for yellow. Top of that joint is there. That is there. Also about where it kicked up. And then orange's top point is here. Wait, how the hell is orange? Oh no, this one is... The orange is also right here. Okay. Tippy top of orange goes there. And red. At least this one's in front, so it makes my life easier. Oh god, that's at the same height as that yellow. Good god. Okay, so there's my legs. Top of the shoulders is a good spot to mark. And top points. And top of the hair. I think the midpoint of the Jawbone, since those are stick out. <clears throat> Top of the jaw and the midpoint of the spike is there. The ear 
is there. Good God. Why have I done this to myself? off Let's start labeling some of these That's just the top of the ear. This is just my jaw. Shoulders. Please. Mid. And. Four tops. Gosh, yes, this must be the riveting material people come to live streams for. <laughs> like one mid. This would be like three mid. We're just gonna call that low. Okay. Goodness gravy. This is gonna be interesting. But now I have notes. 
And I should have put them on the other side because I'm a lefty, so my hand's just going to be covering these the whole time. That's fine. <sighs> this one's layer out of here. We're gonna have to make this sheet much wider. <laughs> Curse this stupidly wide spider woman. I should take a screenshot of this while I'm thinking of it. I might go and send it to my <laughs> professor that I originally designed her for. Um, and be like, hey, remember how you told me not to do the orthographic during the school year because it would really hurt my soul? I decided to do it now. Which was a very dumb idea. Because these will probably be the most difficult, I guess? Symmetry and a jump of black. So we need to get going here. It's the back. Which is kind of like that. Okay, cool. We don't need to worry about it. For now, I might keep this. She's got like <laughs> an upper shell. I can't wait to show this to my d, &D party and say, oh hey, by the way guys, I'm gonna make you guys fight this eventually. That'll be fun. I should totally have her show up way earlier in a thing. Have her be fightable. And then totally kick the party's butt. Make them go, oh wait, we have to run away sometimes. I'll also hopefully make actually kicking the butt more satisfying. Okay, so now we need to flip the direction of these legs. <laughs> Oh my. Well, do we? Because perspective wise, it would still work. Put the back legs in the front. And I just drew in the connecting pieces for these. I mean, they're technically supposed to be the same. No, it doesn't quite work.
Just get rid of this part that's connecting up to flow down to possibly be a back leg. There we go. See, perfect. Nobody ever noticed. Unless, of course, people decide to go watch this. At which point, man, I don't know if spider legs is hard. Leave me alone. <laughs> it really hurts people. Like, oh god. These stupid spider legs. This is the sort of thing that you never think about having to draw. Then you start doing concept art. You go, wait, what? How do I draw that? Character is just a nightmare of things that are hard to draw between insects and humans and large jaws and multiple arms and lots of limbs. <laughs> Fabric, although I like fabric, so. <sighs> okay. That wasn't too bad. Let's start the upper body. So I can mask this part. Because no one should be able to see that anyway. And this part we can just erase. And... This gets much easier back here. Thank god. As much as I complain about this character design, it will be hella cool to design her. So. <laughs> Do not be deceived by me complaining about this character design. You gotta push yourself sometimes, so. Might as well. Oh, I have to start worrying about the back, <laughs> the shoulder connection. I already worked that out in my final. It'll be okay. All good. This just needs to start there. Loop around to about here. Oh, that's a weird connection point there. Shoot. It's just, um... Uh... 
do that. There we go, that should check it out. Also, while I know, like, drawing characters with a bajillion tons of symmetry on, to ask me to draw this without symmetry, I'd be like, you guys, do you want this in the next 20 years? Um, also, for video games, either way, it's easier to model and texture a symmetrical character, or a character that's mostly symmetrical that you can just go in and change the parts of later. So... Bada boom. I could put that in there and it's like a little spider butt crack. I won't. I will not. As funny as that would be. At least to me. So these two. Share this. I have to go in and put her eyeballs in. Oh god. I'll put those in on the back here since I, I can match what I have there. God, I also never put the spider webs in. I'm probably gonna scrap the spider webs from her original concept design. It's her concept over here has like cool spider webs holding her armor on and shit because you know sometimes you really do just make a character design like that <laughs> but we're gonna scrap that for now for the sake of not overloading with details These will be easier to draw. I just realized I've done something very weird with how these connect up. This is not correct. <laughs> God dang it. No, because that makes sense. That goes over there. And that one goes over there. And then this one goes over here. That one goes there. That one laces up there. And that one laces over there. And that one laces over there. 
No, it does make sense. I'm just crazy. Okay. Drawing laces is ugh. I really did just put all of the things that I struggle to draw in this design. Nothing else I can thank D&D &D for getting me to draw things I wouldn't normally draw. that. Cool. Now we just need to get... Can I put those? Where should I put those? No, let me turn the front back on. Those are on the middle one. This arm should technically be in front of that. Okay. Let's rock this out. This goes here. Maybe chair shoulder joint here. Yeah, this probably works. Oh, I should have left that in because that connection point is still visible on there. There we go. And then this just doesn't exist. Because it's back here. Okay. Well, this might stick into the coaster. Wait a minute. Which was in the back then if those arms aren't there? No, these arms are in the back. They're just... Oh, the elbows are just okay. Okay. Now we're rocking it up.
probably this entire chunk here. Yep, okay, so this just ceases to be for now. I think we'll be able to come back to this later. Silhouette shapes. Okay, so this then. Turn the sizes brush down. Okay, so this just goes up oh, there, doesn't go there. I can come back. This goes away.
Okay. Oh. There's those. Um. We'll worry about the rest of those hands later. I think we can turn off the rough layer if it's flushing things out properly. I have to worry about the drops too. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. This probably the harder stop. What I'll probably do is I'll do one side view for the bottom half and then I'll do two side views for her top half because that's the asymmetrical part. Let me turn the legs off so we can get the arms right. Where's that supposed to go on top? Yeah, that doesn't fit. Still. And the asymmetry layers off so I don't get distracted. So, how do I put this in the front? Aren't we just going to silhouette? I think that's about right. This is working from my back. I need that finger way too thick, so. This one's a little massively short, so perhaps that goes. Perhaps that one goes there. Weird effing angle. Let me go get my mirror real quick. Okay, so if I'm a spider lady holding my hand out. And what's the front view? So it's like that. In the back. Okay, they mostly just run parallel. They really do. Do that little bit of curving up. So I can see the knuckles still from that. <laughs> This is why I purchased a tiny mirror for college. <laughs> so now we go over to there. This is actually still that. But now I've just got Pinky starting here. Ish? No, no, no. 
everyone. Go back to the silhouette. Alright, well this is as far as we can do the silhouette. Alright, so there's that. Oh, this is just worse. Why did I undo it? Oh, welcome to hand drawing hell, guys. Okay. Fine. You know what? I can't see my phone screen, but... I'm gonna grab a 3D model from my posing app and do that because I'm not sitting around stressing over this. Just because I have stream delay, so if anybody wonders what the hell is going on. New scene. Okay, add model. Doesn't matter what kind of lady it is. Just put the hand... It's got... It should have at least one that's kind of close to what the pose I'm doing. No. There's a finger editor, thank god. For god. I almost never use... Finger editor, so... Hand pose, finger editor, thumb. Sometimes it's just faster to go get a finger editor. <laughs> Close this, rotate this up, bring it down, and close to that. Okay. Oh, I just realized this entire thing is facing the wrong way. That's okay. Symmetry, flip the model.
Alright, this won't quite let me flex things how I want it to. Which is annoying. But I can probably grab it faster in Photoshop to make it a bit closer. Poses. Send it to myself on Discord. Uh... Discord art, art poses. Open original. Copy image. Oh, we'll worry about that in a second. It's almost what I want, and that's fine. It Puppet warp. No, no, I forgot it had background. I'll just go back by edit puppet warp in there, in there, in there. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty dang close to what I need. Okay. Alright, there we go. Hand struggles <laughs> basically mostly over. Am I still hap like happy with this hand? Honestly, not quite. But sometimes it just really do be like that. This one should be easier to reverse. Can I just go like this? Be like, oh yeah, where would this go? I'm like, I think it would go right here. And then it does. And it's a big monster hand. And it goes where I want because it's a big monster hand. where I want because it's a big monster hand. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Drawn hands. <laughs> that part doesn't quite look right. Look right. Oh, 
Oh man, that part really doesn't quite look right. Irma. Irma, why do you have such stupid monster hands? I don't have the patience to do this. That's what the problem is. It looks like it's facing towards me too much. go okay it's not perfect but I think that's what we get for now Legs. oh we have to address the dress oh we have to address the dress And do the asymmetry. Alright. Let's do symmetry. Let's rock this out. Nobody will ever know. What nobody will ever know? I don't know. Maybe it's... Maybe it's how much the symmetry tool saved my butt doing this? That makes sense. All right, yeah, that checks out. At least to me. leg. It's actually like a front leg. Cool. Yeah, I'm not flipping the cloth. So that would also be really huge pain. Alright, now we just get the asymmetry. Asymmetrical stuff, huh? Finish this.
Man, that's a brain teaser I didn't realize I'd be doing today. <clears throat> oh, I need to mask off the legs. And parts. Wait. Yeah. Wait, that's the hands that need to get masked off. I did all that work drawing a hand that was going to be partially covered. <laughs> oh man. Of course. Of course. <laughs> hey, at least it's done. All right. Oh, I put most of that on the legs later. Okay. Symmetry off. Eyeballs. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no, that's not quite correct. Okay. Make a copy of that, grab that, and it um, flip horizontal. Bring it over here. <laughs> Did I have eyeball titties? I think I did in the original concept.
Okay. <laughs> well, here's what we got done for this stream. It took us... We'll say just under three hours since I left for an intermission. <laughs> So if I can spend another three hours later on today, just hammering away at this model sheet, that's what we're gonna get done later, but by myself. Anyway, yeah. Thank you so much to everybody who hung out. Um, yeah. One day I'll put together a proper credits roll for my live streams, but I don't have one. So, yeah. Thank you, my Patreon supporters, who make it actually practical for me to spend time doing this stuff. And, like, you know, like, justify this and help fuel my passion projects. Uh, when I can, uh, school is very mean to me in giving me time to do that, but hopefully I'll be able to get back to that soon. Um, yeah. If you do not have a wallet that is heavy, because I understand it's crazy pandemic times, it's understandable.